Wrapping up the last day of the ski season with the ultralight in my hand was definitely the best way to do it. The flows were high in the rivers, conditions were looking perfect, and I made it down to the spot. So I want to break down to you guys spring trout fishing tips. If I could recommend three lures to throw during the spring, it would be a little jig with either a tube or power bait worm, a spoon like a Phoebe or a Castmaster, and an inline spinner. These fish are usually in the middle part of the water column, but there are still some fish that are on the bottom, still in winter feeding mode. So they're a little bit slower moving at times, especially early season. But the more rain we get and the warmer it gets, the more the trout are gonna feed and the more food that's gonna be being pumped into the creek. So on a day like today, when I'm fishing with high flows, it's important to realize that there's a lot of bait being pumped into the river. Insects, worms, and the bait fish are gonna be moving around a lot more. High flows in the spring means that the water's gonna warm up because the rain coming down is a little bit warmer than the creek temperatures. So the fish are gonna become way more active. So with that being said, when I make it down to the river, I start casting out with whatever lure I kind of think might work. And that's totally dependent on the spot how it looks. This spot didn't have that much visibility. So I was like, all right, ding, ding, ding. I'm gonna throw a jig, bounce along the bottom. Look for those fish that are just kind of cruising along, looking for whatever baits coming down on the bottom part of the water column. Also fish right outside the current sometimes. If you got high flows and the current's ripping, the fish are probably right outside the current line, just sitting there either on the bottom or a little bit staged up off the bottom looking for the bait fish that can't make it in the current and kind of come to the side. So that's also an important tactic to take forward as well is that when you're working your bait, you wanna work it pretty slow because you're not trying to make it look like one of those really active bait fish that's gonna get away from the fish. You wanna make it look like a wounded bait fish or a worm that's gonna be easily eaten by the trout and kind of slowly flutter in front of them. Later in the season though, I mean, you can, you can get away with a faster presentation, but right now, early season trout fishing, you wanna work it slow and really figure out what's gonna get you a bite. And then once you get a bite, keep sticking with that. Don't be afraid to switch it up. And my biggest tip to you guys for spring trout fishing is really get immersed in whatever environment you're fishing and really get in the moment because it's not about the time of year fishing. Like, yeah, trout act overall pretty similar during the spring, but it's very dependent spot to spot what's the main forage in the river. So if I'm fishing a super clear river with no bugs, I'm going to be catching my fish on spinners and spoons because the fish are feeding on bait fish. On the other hand, if I'm fishing a river that's a little bit murkier with more bugs and things being pumped from outside the river system when the rain comes in, like this spot I was fishing, then I'm going to have better luck with the power bait worm, just like you saw in this video. So it's super dependent spot to spot. Also, whatever forage is present in the river. So each time you go out trout fishing, have an open mind, go out there with all the lures you might need and just be versatile in your sport. Make sure you don't get too caught up in your head about, all right, I need to be throwing this because this is the only thing that's gonna work. Anything could work at any time with trout fishing. That's one of the biggest takeaways. And also the more you explore and the more water you cover, the better. So don't just sit at one pool the whole entire day. If you know there's a big fish there, it's a different story, but keep moving, keep on trying different lures. And once you find something, stick with it. Trout like to key onto one presentation and you gotta figure that out day by day, but that's the most rewarding part about the sport. And that's what me and my buddy Eric always talk about. Anytime we're giving people trout tips, it's you find the one presentation they're keying onto for the day, now you found it. So that's kind of like the mystery of the day that you have to solve. Each time you go out there, you're solving your own mystery about what bait to use, how to work it, how to get bites, and then continuing on throughout the day, and you'll probably catch most of the trout that are feeding in that sort of way, which is cool. So today was an awesome day. Caught a lot of fish after wrapping up the ski season. What a way to do it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep on getting out there. Keep on promoting the positivity of whatever you're doing. I'm sitting out here in my backyard in my little outdoor studio. I'm promoting the positivity of this. So even if you're going out for a hike or just getting out of work and kind of carrying your day forward, keep on just with that positive mental attitude. Never in the send. See you guys next time.